Hello, everyone. Oh, my cats are going at it. <laughs> what is this wire? Oh, it's my USB cable. There we go. Um, any salty? Thank you so much for the six months. Hello, and Shandela. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. <coughs> Good morning. Sorry, I was late again. Go to a car dealership today. Is that an Apple Watch? Yes. Ironfish, hello. Charles, hello. Did you get a new It hasn't come yet. I don't know why. And uh, I've ordered it quite a bit. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I have my overlays off. What? Oh, shoot. So sorry. Flexor man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 gift the sub. Holy. Okay, I can. I can do it for you. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Oh my gosh. The best 40. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Venomous Snake. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub as well. Yeah. Quick flex. This is a business expense now. I, I'm pretty sure I can expense this. But yeah, I, I never really cared for the Apple Watch or Smart Watch in general. But I have a use for it now. Use case for me. Are you gonna be Teha Drives? No, I. City. To drop my mom off. <laughs> Not me. Actually, Levi, thank you so much for three months. Hello. What series? I got the 5 series. The 44 millimeter. Watch face. Should I buy a custom hot swappable or pre built? Or should I learn to solder or any other ideas? All are great options. If you want to dive in deep, I would recommend you learn to solder. Hot Swap's a good option though. Do you always stream this early? No, Thursday and Friday are my EU friendly streams. That's why it's early. Move the cat cam. Can I move the cat cam? Oh God. I cannot move it. <laughs> I'll turn this off for now. I have my camera currently on some head. And I can't support the weight of the camera right now. Oh, they're going at it though. <laughs> Zombamon, hello. How long have you had those cats? I've had them for less than a month. I adopted them early this month, actually. Yeah. They're getting so much bigger. Yeah. They each gained a pound since they got here. Oh, crap. Did you guys see that? Where did you get the cats? I adopted them from a uh, adoption center. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll turn cat cam back on. We'll do some cat fighting tracking. Yes, it's all. WTF 200k to feed cats? Yeah. Ah! Chinch, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I saw that for about last. No, I ended up not restoring it, Chinch. I actually ended up selling it. <laughs> I uh, have been funding a lot of camera purchases. And it was just one of the easiest things for me to move, so yeah. Hopefully, I will get my hands on another Beam Spring one day, but yeah, I ended up selling it. 
Roll X. Six, thank you so much for the three months. My name is the Royal. Thank you so much for the three months as well. Build a 40, I beg of you. I would love to build an Equinox. If someone sends me an Equinox. Mommy, you're so small still. Ah. What's your brother doing? Would you build a plank? Sure, we built a prionic on stream. Why not? Do you usually stream this early? No, today's an EU friendly stream for me. I don't normally stream this early. T Dream, hi, are Helios V2 silent even when they aren't lubed? I ordered a keyboard from KBD fans. I don't know if they will lube it. KBD fans definitely won't lube your switches, but Helios are silent, yes. You're famous now, what's the next camera purchase? Kevin, please. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I want the, I want, I want the new 1DX Mark III. I also, I got to play around with the EOS R recently. The EOS R seems pretty nice. If I ever like start doing outdoor stuff or get into vlogging, I would love to get an EOS R. I, I hate how the mounting is different. I don't I don't like how you have to buy two different lens ah, two different lens systems now. I also want to get the uh, C500 Mark II. Oh man, I'm I'm just full on team Canon right now. I've been I have seen the light. I should have just gone team Canon all the way. Yeah, but you can get an adapter. Yeah, but it's also expensive. <laughs> Let me see how I can check. Buy a red camera? <laughs> Didn't you just get a cinema camera? Yes, but my Canon C200 is already outdated. I need to be up to date with the tech, you know? Gotta sell my C200 and save up for... Maybe I should have a Canon C500 Mark II as a sub, sub goal. My subathon goal. Venomous Snake, thank you so much for the 100 bits. What coffee drink? I have a command, exclamation coffee. Ari Alexa win? I can't afford an Ari Alexa. Yeah, the Verge will call you out for using an old camera. <laughs> All right. Please stop with the camera purchases. I do want a new lens. I'm considering maybe picking up the Sigma Pro Art 24 to 70. Um, I, I I love the C200, but it doesn't have image stabilization, and the current lens I have also doesn't have image stabilization. The 24 to 70 has an image stabilizer, and Sigma Pro Art is more than enough for cinema or for videography at least. We'll see. Charles, thank you so much for gifting a sub. All right. So I was reached out by Mr. Flexer Man. And I have the Flex Virgo in my possession. So if you guys don't know what this, why is this so small? Oh, if you guys don't know what keyboard we're building today. This is the keyboard by Flexer Man. I believe this person is fairly new to the hobby. I could be wrong, but he has dove in deep and he has designed a keyboard. Um, I think, I think more so he wanted to recreate a keyboard that doesn't, that you can't purchase anymore. And it's about to become a reality. Totes, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. So yeah, this is definitely inspired by the LZ Ergo. If you guys don't know what the LZ Ergo is, go check it out. But the LZ Ergo is probably the only high-end custom with this kind of layout. Um, I'm personally, I was personally a huge fan of the LZ Ergo. So I'm glad to see that someone else is doing another keyboard finally. That's somewhat similar to it. But yeah, 
I believe this is also gasket mounted. The seed of an idea. Ah, yes. Yeah, they also mentioned the LZ Ergo. Ooh. Cake, thank you so much for the tier one sub. These are the possible layouts. Okay, so it does look like it uses gaskets as well as a daughter board PCB. So I'm not sure who did the PCB work on this. Oh, it'll be interesting to see. I just got back, what's that called? This is the Flex Virgo, FLX Virgo, maybe not Flex. Yeah. Your board needs you. Oof. What is the status of this? Uh, vendors, nope. My wife, ooh, friends. Oh, AI, oh, AI helped him with PCB design. I see. Nice. Yep, so this is what we're, oh my gosh. This is what I'm building today. Oh, why did that not work? Live, 15th of February, I did PCB solo, AI did the daughter board. I see. So we do have Mr. Flexerman in chat. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask him. Please don't build this on stream. I won't be able to get in, get one in the group by with all the NK hype. All right, no build stream today. We're just gonna play League. I need to climb out to gold, so no keyboard stream today. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So we have some novel key cream switches, lube with Crytox 205 grade zero today. Um, also with a 60 gram spring. And it looks like, oh shoot. Is this the gasket? Oh, no, this, wait, what is this? Okay, we'll take a look at all of this. Hello from Norway, hello. Ooh, so this is the JST connector. Looks like it's sleeved. Nice to see. Those are some long screws. <laughs> uh, this is the, these are old plates, I believe. So we have a ton of plate options. There, I was sent an FR4 plate, but I think this has some issues. Uh, this is a PCB. Oh, there's two PCBs. Oh, I guess we were sent two PCBs in case one of them didn't work. Nice to be safe. But this, this is what I want to see. So keep in mind, this is a prototype. If there are any defects or blemishes, hopefully that gets fixed in the production run, but this is a prototype today. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is heavy. Oh my gosh. Look at this color. Wow. Let me put this away. This board is big. It takes up a lot of my desk space. Actually, it's not that, it is big. Yo, chat, look at this. So it looks like this is, we have the win key list version. Is there a win key version? Uh, looks like the renders only have win key list. I'm going to guess this is the teal green color. And it's got a brass bottom. No. Sorry, it has, it has an aluminum bottom with a brass weight. Yo, look at this weight. So yeah, the bottom is not brass. The weight is brass, but this bottom is like a yellow kind of anodized aluminum. 
How do you guys like this? Are you guys liking this aesthetic so far? So, uh, we, we viewed this in chat on a previous stream a long time ago. I said I wasn't a fan of the curve in the renders. In person, uh, I, I think Mr. Flexor Man did change it afterwards, the curvature of it. I'm still not 100% satisfied with this curve, but unfortunately the goal didn't make it to group by. Uh, yeah, but I, I will say this is better than the, the original iteration. Yeah, some, I don't know, something about maybe the fact that you can see the lip here, something I don't like. But, I mean, overall, it's still a very nice board. I think the back looks nice. Maybe this is something you just have to live with. This is just unable, unavoidable, but this color is really nice. All right, get out. I need to stream. Okay, oh, there's even a plate in here. Nice, okay. Uh... Okay, so when it comes to plate options, we are going to be building... Oh, so this is the old plate. So, we have the option for an FR4 plate or an aluminum plate. We will let chat vote today. Vote yes if you want to see this prototype built with FR4. Vote no if you want to see this built with aluminum. Yes for FR4, no for aluminum. Yes, FR4, no for aluminum. Um, full disclosure, this is not a unit I'm keeping. I will be sending this back, but they said I could build it with whatever configuration I wanted. So I'm just gonna let chat decide. Yes, okay, looks like we're going to FR4. Okay, sorry, aluminum. Oh, but this already has the gaskets cut. Ooh, so this is interesting. So the gasket, kind of wraps around the plate. So you're not actually, I don't, it looks like you're not applying this gasket to the case itself. Ooh, so like it comes off. It's like a little bracket. And then you stick it on here. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so that's what these cutouts are for. It, it helps hold these gaskets in place. So, F Mr. Flexor Man. Okay, this is annoying. <laughs> Mr. Flexor Man said he has played around with varying how long this strip of rubber is. And he said, for his experience, it affects how Flexi the typing experiences. Um, I'm not sure if we could do that today on stream. We could try it out, maybe. It might be hard to s tell though, because I don't, I feel like it'd be easier to tell if we had bought just pink. Oh, that was late. <laughs> I feel like it'd be easier to tell if we had two exact builds with the same configuration, where the only difference was the length of this rubber. But, if you guys are interested in joining, that is something you guys can theoretically experiment with. So I'm currently transferring over these gaskets. Yeah, so it's not too hard to uh, slot these in. It just comes off. And we just apply it on. Are you gonna try to find people to help you building keyboards because of the demand. 
Um, probably not low one. I don't intend on <laughs> hiring anyone yet. Is it just me or does the top look like a crooked TGR Jane? The top? How much will this board be? Is there a expected price on the interest check? Uh, no, prices to be determined. Oh, a kit is $560 excluding shipping according to the interest check. And you can buy extra parts. Uh, this group buy won't be too big. I mean, it, it's definitely big for a first time group buy runner. It looks like 50 units, 10 places first come first serve and 40 units for a raffle. But hopefully it goes well. What's the plate that's already in there? Uh, I think it's aluminum. If I have to guess, yeah, it looks like aluminum. I could be wrong. All right, so the gaskets have been transferred over to the Virgo. I wonder if like shifting it to one region, how much that would greatly affect the uh, typing experience. Or the acoustics, if it does. Okay, so this is going away. Um, Kylo Prawn, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime set. Mr. Flexor Man, is there a specific PCB I should be using? <laughs> Alright, was I just, I'm guessing I was just sent two. Just to be safe. Does it matter which PCB I use? Either? All right. I'm gonna go with the white one. It's not default, thanks so much for the seven months. Laker the Baker, thanks so much for the 100 bits. Do you think Fro Ducky Frozen Llama Mini is a good keyboard for $120? Uh, it's not bad, yeah. You're kind of paying for the look though. Or the frozen llama. It's the same as any other ducky as far as I know. C.S. Hobbs, thank you so much for the five months. Okay. Ooh, so this is the PCB. So supposedly this was done by Mr. Flexor Man himself. Is this missing components? Where's the daughter board? Oh, the daughter board's already in here. I'm done. Okay. So, I will have to take this apart to get access to the daughter board. But this is the first appearance of this. We must weigh this. Where did my scale go? What? Did my cats take my scale? Oh. This keyboard case without the PCB or any internals, six pounds, 14.2 ounces, 3,124 grams. Kylie, thank you so much for the seven months. Am I still going to slurp, Kylie? <laughs> slurps it's definitely thick oh well, my cats also are they're not even I should just turn off the cat cam today they're not sleeping today 
Okay, let's start with the bump ons. Oh shoot! <laughs> Ham Kenobi! Thank you so much for the five gift of subs! How are you doing? This bump on cutout looks ginormous. Okay, it is ginormous. Is this a com is this some like manufacturing characteristics? I feel like a lot of the boards we've seen today. Their cutout has been bigger than the bump on provided all the time. The JO1 also had this. I swear some other keyboards had this as well. Um, Tonka Tonk, thank you so much for the 15 months. I love Teha and Teha accessories. Pixel Dog, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Oh shoot, we started the hype train. Nice. Bait train incoming. Is it time to bust out the cats? How's the anal quality? Yeah, we can get in closer detail to the anal quality. I did already notice some scuffed marks on this though. Just crappy bump ons, they will be different in the group by. Okay. So Flexor Man has confirmed for the production unit, the bump on cutout will fit the bump ons provided. Eric Borth, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Um, Anno quality. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, I do see like scuff marks. There's like scratches here, right there. Um. It's got a consistent, it has a consistent, uh, what do you call it? Like stretch mark kind of pattern. Like I, I know some TGRs have this kind of look. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Like it has that kind of stretch mark kind of appearance. Striations, yeah. But like it's consistently across, so it looks even. It's not like a super, I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, it's got that striation kind of look, but it's everywhere. It's same. It's got the, uh, the same direction everywhere. And yeah, it's, it's consistent. I, the anno is not, it's consistent. If you don't like the striation look though, you might not like this. This board is kind of scratched though <laughs> there's more scratches on this corner here i don't know if it shows oh right there yeah but once again this is a prototype but no guarantees the production will be better or worse even if they even if a factory sends an amazing prototype it's possible the actual production run is absolute garbage <laughs> proto been abused okay yeah keep in mind this is a prototype guys generic panda thank you so much for the tip sarcastic guava thank you so much for the 100 bits i jazz this thank you so much for the twitch prime sub diddle thank you so much for the 10 bits if we hit level three i will bring out the cats again yeah so i can see why the gold was rejected the it, the gold exposes the kind of striation a lot more you can see the lines going through. Yeah, like right there. Yeah, I'm going to guess this is why the gold was rejected. It's much more evident on here. They're horizontal, yes. The lines are all horizontal. They're going in the same direction. Yeah. A lot of laughs, hello, why are you hogging the cats? What do you mean hogging the cats? <laughs> but once again, this is a prototype. Flexor Man has done some homeopathic science on his own. We'll get to try this out today ourselves. Okay. 
2.0 hex? Nope. 1.5? Wait, what? Did I lose my 1.5 hex? What? Did the cat, oh my gosh, the cats took it. On the ground. <laughs> no, this is 2.0. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's 2.0. Oh wow, we got a level one hype train. Thank you, chat. TY. Why blame the cats? It's gone from the holder. You have white hair? Yes. Hey, Tayo. Congrats on all the publicity on the media recognition lately. Awesome. Not a huge fan of the gold anno. Yeah, so Flexor Man has confirmed no gold in the production list. Ernab, thank you so much for the eight months. Thank you. This screw is so long. I I am ice. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sir. Do you know if the Roselio's just a redye of Helios? Yes, redye of Helios. What are your thoughts on the God Speed versus the 7V? Uh, I forget. Did the God does the God Speed look like the 7V or the S75? God Speed 75. Oh, it looks like neither. Just kidding. I was thinking of another board by this guy. I'm personally not a fan. I'm not a fan of inline Efro. I I need that staggered <laughs> Efro. This that's also why I never purchased a Singa. I need my Efro to be staggered. So I guess the seven V wins in that sense. And this final screw won't come out. Okay. Got it out. It's Al a Linux. Thank you so much for the tip. Have you heard of the Mechanics Tint? If so, is it a kit that has released yet or is it in the works to come out this year? It hasn't been released yet, but it is in the works. Reckless Bomb, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Rosa, hello! Yeah, this keyboard is lit. So I'm personally a huge fan of this layout. It's essentially a TKL, but the alphas are split and angled to be slightly more ergonomic. Like my hands naturally rest like this. They don't rest like this. So I, I really like this. All right, so this top piece should just come off. Ooh. Oh, that was sitting there stuck tight. So it looks like the get the rubber is doing its job of sealing. Don't need this. Whoa, steel one! What the? What? Thank you so much for the ten gift of stubs, steel one. Holy crap! 
<clears throat> okay, let's go through this piece by piece. So maybe if I reduce the lighting, you guys could see the anno better. Okay, that's so that shows off the striation look I was talking about. Like what how do you describe this look? It's not a brushed aluminum look, but it has like it looks I I I feel like people just see it stretch marks. But it has like a stretch mark kind of look, but it's like consistently even everywhere. Porous? I guess porous. No, it, I wouldn't describe this as matte. Grainy? I guess grainy is a way to describe it, yeah. Sand casting? But like it's everywhere. But it's like consistent. So it becomes a feature. Like it, it would be it would be worrisome if it was just on certain parts, but it is everywhere. So this is what the top piece looks like. So as you can see, there are actually no gaskets applied to the case itself. Everything is on the plate. It's interesting. And this is the bottom. The engraving uh, looks clean. Wait. Is it clean? Wait. <laughs> that the FLX looks off. <laughs> the Virgo looks clean. I th no, Virgo looks. Something about that V looks wonky to me. Either way, this is on the inside. You won't really see this. It shouldn't affect your buying power. I swear this FLX is not straight. It's definitely like crooked. Each letter is like oriented differently. But yeah. Okay, yeah. So on the gold, definitely scratched. You can see the lines there. Um, I'm gonna guess that's why this was rejected. The, the yellow definitely accentuates it in lighting. But on the bottom, it looks better. Yeah, the bottom engraving... Is the F supposed to look? Okay, so it looks like FLX does use a shorter top. That looks kind of funky too now that I look at it. I don't know. <laughs> This is better though, this is definitely better. Something still looks off. Not sure if it's the uh, file Flexor Man sent over or if it's the uh, engraving cap capability, but it's better than the inside one. But it's not, I mean, it, you don't, it's on the bottom. So this is the JST connector. Oh, now it's too bright. It's got sleeves. Take out the weight? You want me to take out the weight? Why? I guess I could. I mean, do you guys want to see me take off the weight? Yeah? Okay, might as well. If you guys want to see what this looks like without the weight. You don't have to? No, might as well. The only reason I'm here to see the weight Mr. Hinks, thank you so much for the eight months. Eat the keyboard. Nice.
I don't mind seeing how this weight looks without the bottom piece. So. Nami, no! Alright. I should just be able to. Ooh. This is the bottom piece without the weight. I don't think keyboard taste testing is a thing, wonder why. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just tasted Clavier's copper plate when I built that? Yeah! Alright. That was the wait for you guys. Karu, hello! You know what you should do is commission one of those food artists to make a realistic keyboard. <laughs> Wait, do they take commissions? Do they sell it to others? But I would gain so much weight, Karu, from it. I am open to it though. Just get keyboard waffle. <laughs> Metallic Charles, thank you so much for the four months. Hello. Is this a limited group buy or cheaper with more buy? This is a limited group buy. Most group buys are limited. Holy crap. Sorry, five months, Metallic Charles. Five months, I missed it. I misread it. You're on a four month streak, but you'll have subbed for a total of five months. Thank you. Okay. Let us insert GST cable. So this is using USB C. The AI helped contribute to design this. Genki, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Congrats on being on Business Center. I have a question. Gonna reinstall GMK screen stabs on my KVD revision 2. How necessary are washers? It depends on the PCB. I don't know off the top of my head what PCBs needed and what don't. Um, it's not always necessary. Just depends on whether your PCB requires it or not. Oh, shoot. And C-Man Beard, thank you so much for the three months watching you while I clean my bathroom before my parents come over. Slurp. <laughs> okay, so this is USC, USB-C. Nice, we're setting up Virgo. Computer seems to be recognizing it. Um, for those of you guys interested in this, I have also been told the PCB is already ready to go in VIA. Uh, it's not currently in the late. Huh. Oh. oh. Okay, I gotta go in deep with this. Wait. Hmm, escape doesn't work. Maybe that's an FN key or something. Should work. Normal TKL layout was working when I sent it. Uh, 
I mean, that's the escape key. It's not the end of the world. I could try bringing out the other PCB. I mean, if, if escape is the only key that doesn't work, I don't think it's that big of an issue. All right, we're gonna go full backspace. Good thing there's two PCBs, yeah. It is nice when clients send me multiple parts for me to use. If something ever ends up not working properly. Any plans to build, build a Jane B2C? Yes, I have a personal one that I am waiting to receive on. I haven't re received tracking updates though, so it'll be a while. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get commissions for Jane B2C builds as well once I open up my services again. Caps lock works. Anyone know where I can get a anywhere I can get by get a single Gateron black ink for my 1% keychain? You can try asking Mac Market. I don't think any vendor sells a single Gateron black ink though. It literally costs more to ship out the Gateron ink. <laughs> a single switch than paying for the switch. Okay. Nice. Space. Alt. Menu. Okay. Everything works. Should I just test out the other PCB? Yeah, let's try this. So everything worked but the escape for some reason. Bill, hello. Oh, wait. This PCB is different. I noticed, I noticed there were empty pads here, Mr. Flexor Man. This one has a reset button, a physical one. Let's see if this one works. I mean, not that I need the physical reset button, but. escape key work oh escape works all right time to retest the whole pcb <laughs> maybe this pcb is the one to use yeah good call on mr flexor man especially given this is a prototype. <laughs> Would not be good if I was sent a prototype with a borked PCB. Well, I mean, not that this is borked. It's, it's one key, so. Is this a personal build? No, this is a unit I am sending back. But I... As this is a board that I am personally excited for, Decided to give it a try and show it off on stream. <sighs> oh, yeah, I saw that yesterday, Karu. I think I like that. I, I left it in my uh, upload defaults for now. I did remove the first emoji under like the. You added like a line that was like like click show more to like see more 
I don't know if that was... I don't know if I like that, but I left it in there for now. Gondolin Dream has been helping me out over the last week to make the final production PCB prettier. Looking good now. Nice. Well, I mean, more more so than prettiness. As long as it's robust and works, that's what I care more about. Obviously, if it looks pretty as well, that's a bonus. But yeah, so far, this I'm I'm not a trace expert. This doesn't look like it's all that bad. pretty good to me all right this is the chosen PCB Where did you get that coiled cable? I have a command for cables, exclamation cable. Right. February is gonna be a rough month. Yeah, February is gonna be rough. But supposedly this keyboard is going live. Uh, is the, when Key Cult's having their victory auction for the black number 160 or the one they teased on Instagram, I think next month. Is it next month or is it March? Uh, GMK Modern Dolch Light is running next month. Not in February. Oh, okay. When is when is that? Uh, when is that running, George? Okay. Not me. No. After extras coming, we think April. Oh, okay. I lied. The victory auction for their all black number one is not running next month. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for now. We are done with this. Okay. Stabilizers. Wow, we have Pixie Mech here today as well. Okay, this is gonna have a lot of stabs. <laughs> uh, full backspace. Left shift, I mean, left space, right space. Enter and full. Wow. You must be my load. My load. I'm just kidding. I love you. <laughs> Are you planning on getting some blank keys for your spaces on the Alice? No, not really. I freak I I pretty sure I bought all the kits though for Olivia Plus Plus. Maybe I'll replace it with that. On your uplift V2, is that the solid walnut wood desktop? Uh it's just rubber wood. I have no laminate on this. Raymond, hello! Oh shoot! Flexor man, thank you so much for those 1500 bits. Alright, you pay for the stabs. I won't charge you for the stabs. Man, I hopefully I can get Olivia Plus Plus when extras come out. I, I feel like Mike definitely would have purchased Olivia Plus Plus extras. I'd be surprised if he didn't. GMK Olivia, the colorway has become a staple in the community, so don't see any reason why not. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna start by clipping the steps. He has, there will be plenty of extras? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Oh, this is my first stream casting your stream. Hello, Joseph. I see four Togepi's on the Corby, it looks like. On here, yes. These are Togepi Artisans. Corby, Pernicious Pony, Pernicious Pony. This was from Bizarumi. Do I see a GMK bag in there with the key switches? Key switches? Oh, wait. Are there stabilizers in here? Ah, there are stable. <laughs> I'll take this. <laughs> I, I'm gonna guess these are like the retold ones. They might be bad. <laughs> Freeze tabs upgrade. <laughs> Eat them? No, I'll, I'll keep them in case any of them are good. But I'm, I'm going to assume you purchased them fairly recently, so they're probably garbage. How do I clean my brushes after using them for lubing? I usually uh, run them under hot soap water. Uh, if it's for switches, I guess you should clean your brushes. But like for stabilizers, I don't think it's all that necessary to clean your brush every time, to be honest. Maybe maybe I'm a different case since I... Since I... Uh, salvage from other boards. Oh! Well, if you want me to use it, I can use it Flexor Man. Up to you. Can I lube switches without desoldering them from my pre-built? You could technically shove lube inside a switch. Might not be accurate though. And you might end up with a very inconsistent lube job. I'm confused how keyboards get dust when I don't have any dust in my room. Karu, let's let's think about this statement for a bit, Karu. <laughs> there is dust everywhere. <laughs> Unless you're working in like a NASA facility where they actually control the amount of particulates floating around in the room. <clears throat> there is dust everywhere, my friend. Yeah. He's in a dust-free chamber. I mean, I mean, it is possible to be in a dust-free chamber. Like, um, when I when I worked in JPL, they uh, like the actual facility where they assemble the rovers and whatnot. It's in a very controlled room. Like, the room has to be. It has like a certain number of particles floating in the air at all times. You have to be like cleansed before you go in. You have to wear a suit. Because. When you're dealing with like extremely sensitive hardware like that, with a bunch of sensors and whatnot, especially something you're sending up to space, um, that could greatly affect the uh, hardware. Huge congrats on all the pictures you recently released. Seventeen months is it too? Polyzoo, thank you so much for the seventeen months. How are you doing? Thank you, thank you. I was just at the Mars Rover JPL thing the other week. Yo, Pluto, TFTI, man. Why don't you invite me? Where's my lube brush? What? Did my cats knock my lube brush somewhere over? What? I 
brush is gone. Hmm. Luffy, where'd you put my brush? What? I normally have my brush in the brush holder here. It's gone. <sighs> Do I need to stock up on brushes again? Huh? Where'd you put my brush? Is it on the ground here again? Brush, huh? All right, get off. I should have an extra brush. Ah, found it. Luffy, I must Milo you too. Milo! I'm just kidding. I love you too. That never gets old somehow. How many cats do you have? I have two cats. Gonna start looting the stabilizer housings. Glad I'm able to finally catch one of your streams. Hello, Hecker. Is there any substitute for Topra? Um, no, not really. You can either downgrade to rubber domes. You can try getting some Alp switches, which are, which come kind of similar to the feeling of Topra, but still not the same. Topra is just too good. Um, you could look into Topra clones, like the Ms. Plum, that's been gaining a lot of attention somewhat lately. Soran, hello! <laughs> Daily quest ways to keep point. I've turned the volume all the way down. All the way up because your stream is so silent, but you scared. Oh, sorry. Aren't rubber domes membrane? Sure, yes. Also, Soran, I hear the board is almost completed. Upgrade for all the designers and the makers of Kibozi in the mainland. Franchise, thank you so much for the four months. Yeah, rip the mainland. I want, I hope, I hope the virus doesn't ship out with keyboards. That's going to be spooky. <laughs> Viruses cannot live without a living host. How do you know if a keyboard is alive or not? Keys are alive. Is the switches you have two five grade zero? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm 
I'm not sure what you mean, Karu. 205 grade zero is a lubricant. What the heck? They usually sleep during my streams, but I guess they're active today. WHO just declared the virus an international emergency. GG, that's that's Monka S. So the thing is, I have my ca camera mounted onto something right now, and I can't make it. They're like fighting underneath my table. I can't move it to there. <laughs> yeah, they're super energetic. I guess it's early. I normally stream around 3 p.m. Maybe that's their usual nap time. What tripod do you have? Oh, George, did you see what I posted in the speakeasy? Did you see my new uh, slider thingy? Um, but I'm using the, uh, I'm using the Sackler tripod. The one that every YouTuber owns. I decided to join the crew. It's pretty game changer though, it saves me a lot of time. Here in Spain is 2047. Ah, why don't you stream EU friendly more often? What do you mean VVRV? <laughs> Literally half my streams every week are EU friendly. <laughs> okay. I stream two days NA friendly, two days EU friendly. You have all the things I want to buy, but can't because Zach won't let me. <laughs> Wait, a lot of laughs. I'm guessing, I mean, you don't have to release this information, but I'm guessing you guys are co-owners of Key Cult. Maybe make me the third, bring me into the Key Cult ownership and then we'll have majority voting. And I will always approve of your camera purchases. <laughs> we, will we will outvote Zach. Shift the balance, yes. Majority always voting for new camera purchases for Key Cult. Just hi, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I want to change my Switch Plus community. What tactile switch should I take? Depends on what you're looking for in a tactile switch. D Jervil, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, they're... I feel like they had the zoomies the past couple minutes. I just got the MX Master 3 and I've really enjoyed it so far. Nice. Have you tried the Okomochi switches? I have not, but I think I have a future build lined up with it. I haven't tried them yet though. These are GMK stabs, yes. D 
you like box jays if i have to choose clickies box jays are definitely one of my favorite ones i don't generally use all that many clicky switches but box jays are one of my more favorite clicky switches i'm hyped for tomorrow's alexo capo stream yes tomorrow will be a stream for alexo capo i don't know how many I guess since to <laughs> What are you doing? Mm, don't need the lube. No lube beating for you. fight with your sister. Trying to get the cat that Tinder profile. <laughs> Gosh, I still have so many stabilizers to do. It's okay, today I started streaming early. We have tons of time. <sighs> do you know the actuation of novel key creams? I could not tell you off the top of my head. If I had to guess, probably somewhere around high 40s. Maybe mid 40s. Do you have any hidden talents? No. I'm a man with no talents. I'm a boring man. New to the stream, I'm already in love with the vibes it gives off. Thank you. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my cat. I'll turn it back on if they're back within the vicinity, if they're running around. What's the point of transparent stabs? I saw them for sale on KBD fan. It's mostly for aesthetics. Some people really like the look of it. Um, if you are going with an RGB build though, uh, the stabilizers also help with the RGB shine through. Oh my gosh. Yeah, some PCBs like the ZL60 have uh, lighting underneath the stabilizer, so when you use clear stabs, it adds even more to the RGB. You got a talent? You build keyboards professionally? I don't know if that's a talent. <laughs> Honestly, anyone could learn to build. Keyboards. I'm pretty sure once I start uploading YouTube videos where like I actually teach stuff, I'm gonna go out of business. Creating YouTube videos will be the downfall of tip types. <clears throat> I'm really interested in keyboard build commission as a points. Any tips for getting started with that? Uh, I would say definitely build your own first. Build a couple boards first. At least understand to a decent level how keyboards work. And make sure make sure to handle other people's products well. I've definitely had mistakes in the past. You think I want to put in the effort, lol? 
Hello, Mr. Chompy Sore. You could always go back to development though, right? I could, but I haven't really been using my brain much lately. I'm pretty sure I've been losing all the ridges I've built up. It might be hard to get back into software, but I mean, I definitely could if I really wanted to. I don't want to though. Having to relearn all the interview questions, study for it, and then go through the interview process again, it's gonna be a pain, it's a pain. Tactile brain is now linear. Yeah, actually. After dealing with Twitch chat for the past couple months, I have lost ridges in my brain. Software interview and questions make me want to die? Yeah, same. Same here as well. I absolutely hate the recruiting process. Which brand makes the best pre-builds? Leopold. Were you a data sign, data technician before? No, I was a, I guess, platform engineer. Dead encryption, thank you so much for the 13 months. Oh shoot, Mr. Keeves, thank you so much for the host. I don't know why your, why your notification didn't go off. I will play the notification for you. Mr. Keeves has hosted our, what? Why isn't it playing? There's, I guess stream elements is running into issues. I try, I, I clicked it to play it, but thank you so much for the host. Uh, in Carter's Nathan's eyes, thank you so much for the nine months. Nathan Stab moving waiting room. <laughs> we have a lot of staff state. But yeah, if you guys are coming over for Mr. Keeves' stream, we are building the FLX Virgo prototype today. So it's got, a, it's got a lot of stabilizers, so bear with me as I go through all of them. Yeah, so this is the prototype. And it is going live for group by February 15th, supposedly. Freddy Franco, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Ditto, thank you so much for the 10 bits. Where do you buy nice Alps? You get lucky. <laughs> you get lucky with your vintage finds and purchases, and you hope that the switches you've purchased were nice. Or you purchase it from the aftermarket of other community members, and you hope they aren't scamming you, and that the switches are nice as well. Oh my gosh, my cats are... Mm. The spring swapping improved the quality of the springs. Some springs are terrible, yes. Um, like stock cherry springs, pretty bad, especially if you buy old vintage cherry boards that have been heavily used. Very bad. Um, zeal switches, zeal springs known to produce 
quite a bit of ping as well. Should definitely lube the spring at a minimum if you're not going to swap it out. Um, it, I don't. Springs also affect the feel in some cases, but mostly uh, people lube it for the, the acoustic performance of it. Are you going to do a build with the alpacas? I definitely will. I actually ordered some more after the stream. I will definitely be building some alpaca boards. All right. So for those of you guys who are new here, I'm currently applying lube to the wire on the stabilizer to eliminate the rattle. Hey! Faded Intense, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. She's cute, but she's annoying when I'm building keyboards. Did you see this cool thing on RMK? Whoa. What is this? Dooming DK6? I can rearrange keys. Each key is fixed with a magnet to the dad baseboard. It's capable of freely repositioning without tools. Each key communicates with the PC via the baseboard independently. As a result, even if the position of the keys is changed on the baseboard, the input content of the key does not change. In addition, it is said that the key can be attached and removed even when the keyboard is in use. What? Oh, but the keycaps are so bad. This is interesting though. Can someone get me this from Yushikoba? It looks like Yushikoba is stocking this. Any viewers in Japan want to get me this? or proxy this for me. I would love to try this out. It's 375. It is kind of expensive, but I feel like I would want to pay it just to try this out. It's pretty cool. Here's a review from a couple of months ago. I want pictures. Oh my gosh, what is this? What? Whoa. Whoa. Is it via supported? Oh, probably not. The UI is poor but functional enough. As expected. Huh, maybe I should use this as my foot pedal. This would be a good foot pedal to use. How do you feel about that? I mean, I don't need a macro pad. I already have a stream deck and an ocelot. This is way too big to be a macro pad, I think. Unless you only need a macro pad. Don't you use big switches? Yeah. It's kind of high though. That's the one thing I don't like. It sits too high. Emperor Zang, hello. 
Today's my challenge waste of message highlight. How's life with the cats? It's good. They're very cute. They distract me a lot though. So I'm a bit worried. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't eat it. Yeah, especially because they're kittens. Like I need to be, I need to play with them, keep them distracted so that they can sleep at night. <laughs> so otherwise they'll just be running around. So like I have to actually take time out of my day to like tire them out. Also to make sure they run around a bit so they don't get fat like me. Yeah, but it is nice though. They make me wake up quite a bit uh, early. I wake up super early because of them. Now. I'm a morning person, and I feel like I feel slightly more productive. I guess waking up early to do some work. Tyson said he might be able to get you on when he visits. Ooh, I'm D. XC Wire. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Alright, three more stabilizers left. I'll pick you up a Dooming. Thank you, Tyson. Can you also pick me up a the HHKBs? I would like the other variants. Oh god, that's gonna be so expensive. TY TY. I want to try out the classic, not the professional hybrid. <laughs> Business expense. more can i transfer you the money to arrange source and ultimately build a keyboard uh sure well my commissions are open i don't accept um if you can get on the queue something we can talk about Are you also asking that question, being aware of how much commissions are? I don't know if you're new here. Oh, you're a one month sub. How do I get on the queue? Well, my commissions aren't open yet. I ping my socials whenever I reopen. I'm hoping to open early next month. And before people send me money for Japan, I blow it all on pachinko machine. <laughs> GG. I heard that industry is crazy. I saw a YouTube video not too long ago on like the pachinko machines. All right. Oh my gosh, I still have one more stabilizer left. You man build me a free keyboard. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Do you play video games? And if you do which ones, I play League of Legends. I play League of Legends, CSGO, 
Let's turn on my main. I can play CS if you want to play CS. Maz, if you're awake at the end of the stream, I'm down. It's only 8 p.m.? Oh, nice. Dude, I haven't touched CS in so long. But I did finish my placements for League. So maybe it's time to switch it up. What did you end up placing? I ended up placing Silver 4. Which I guess is not bad. Could have been worse. I could have been placed into Bronze. That I would have hated my life if I, got, if I got placed into Bronze. Last season, I had to climb out of Bronze. How bad are you at League? If you're as bad as I am, I'd love to play some. George, we can definitely play some. If you want to join in on CSGO, George. Oh, actually, we're supposed to. Am I allowed to play? Well, do you think Zach's gonna get mad at us if we play? <laughs> Can you do me a favor and sign my Steam? How do you sign a Steam profile? Oh, why do you guys like my desk so much today? Alice, hello! I haven't played CS in a long time. Nice. You just leave a comment? Commenting on it is a signet. Oh, okay. I thought it was some like, I thought there was some Steam feature where you could like sign a profile. Okay. <laughs> like a yearbook, I guess. Ryzen FTN, hello. Those washers, I have a link to them on my Amazon storefront. Exclamation here. Z E Ant, thank you so much to Twitch Prime Sub. Sorry if I missed it. Sir, will you sign my baby? If you bring your firstborn to me, I will sign their forehead with a Sharpie. If you also have a Sharpie on hand. CSGO pros used to do it, but not anymore because people use it to gain credibility. What kind of credibility do I have in the CSGO scene though? No, no one who plays CSGO knows who I am. Oh, I take that back. Elige actually followed me on Twitter the other day. I got to slide into Elige's DM. But he's on a team, so I don't think he could use a custom keyboard. Mr. Elige, if you are watching, I've been a huge fan of you, when you since you started off. Let's get you a keyboard. CSGO, CS pros would never carry something that expensive to a LAN? That's where you're wrong, man. Have you seen Pasha Biceps' biceps? You think he'd carry a cheap plastic keyboard to a LAN? Man is always lifting. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the cat cam off. I don't even know why I had this on.
West Africa, hello. Weed uses a HyperX TKL with custom keycaps. You need to upgrade him. Um, is he sponsored by HyperX? HyperX has some pretty restrictive contracts when it comes to peripheral sponsorships. Want to do a bot lane? I'll play either role. Uh, probably not playing lead today. James Bardolph is into keyboards too. Yeah, most most people in the keyboard community know James Bardolph is into custom keyboards. Also, toxic emote went. Ooh, I did ask my previous artist. I can get some new emotes. Um, I'm definitely gonna get a toxic emote. Chat, what ideas do you guys have for emotes? What kind of emotes do you guys want? <laughs> I wanna get some cat related emotes too, but I'm wondering how I should, or what I should have them be doing. I don't wanna have just a face of a cat. I feel like there's tons of other channels with cat emotes. How do I differentiate my cat emotes? Cats eating? We need Pepe and Peepo. Wait, what? Pepe? Oh, I thought we already have Pepe and Peepo. Gotta get a Milo emote? Oh my gosh. That sounds Monka TOS. All right. Cat clacking? Oh, should I get an emote of my cat's typing? Cat licking itself? Pretty fine. Nice to see. We will have plate issues. At least regarding tightness. You dressed up as a cat. I don't know about that. Oh. I just noticed these two stabilizers are fixed. Nice.
bow rattle so far. I can't hear because of the garage door opening. Hold on. <laughs> Famous Verge Keeve streamer. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Whoa, Freddy Franco, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Okay, let us start putting in the rest of these switches. Dame, Damon Kaizen, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I also just noticed, I don't think I've seen flex cuts around the pipe key like that. Am I wrong? Are there other boards with flex cuts around the pipe key? Maybe I just haven't seen it in a while. That's interesting. There's a flex cut here, flex cut here. I guess one here. There's a couple around the modifier keys, and that's about it. I think they come with AIO3 Designer if you check acoustic cuts. I see. Plate material? This is the FR4 plate. Okay, these switches don't feel overly lubed. Not that bad. I feel like the spring is noisy in a couple I've pushed down though. But yeah, definitely not overloaded. Good amount of loot. Just joined the stream. How is it going, Nathan? Everyone? E rare. Thank you so much for the six months. For whom is this? This is for the uh, designer of this keyboard. Might be a bit jank, was a quick job. Yeah, I mean, as it's not over loop, so that's the good thing. Guys, I have to, I have to say something. Feel when you get egoed by Kim three times in a row. What? You have <laughs> no, I don't have coronavirus. I need to go poop. <laughs> My stomach is hurting. I'm gonna go drop it like it's hot real quick. Oh, uh, BRB. Um, I'm gonna raise my desk so hopefully my cat doesn't jump on this. Turn off my soldering iron so in case they jump on it, they don't burn themselves. All right. See ya, nerds. I'll try to be quick. No guarantees.
Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. I did wash my hair. <laughs> How's poop? Oh crap! Luffy, why are you on my chair? <laughs> when did you get to... I almost sat on Luffy. Yeah, I gotta sit there, bud. <laughs> Hi, so why did you gift a sub to Nightbot? What the? <laughs> thank you so much for gifting a sub to Nightbot. Mackie, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Bust BK, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Oh, I feel better. All right. Oh, what happened to the cat cam? Nice, this just clips in. Tyson builds a gift to the sub to Jembumon. <laughs> Tyson, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Zambumon. About the Tupu the Trigger and KB the Pins the Tupu HHKB had so up keeping any recommendations. What a disgrace! No, I'm Tupu now. <laughs> Golf Julia Bravo, thank you so much for five months. I'm about to pull the trigger on KBD fans Tofu HHKB Hot Sauce. Any recommendation or additional info on you? Know about it? Nope. HHKB Tofu Hot Sauce is a great starting option. Is this hot swappable? Nope, this is not. What keycaps are on the M68 Lunar New Year 20 edition? I couldn't tell you. I haven't, I don't remember, I don't know what the render looks like. If I had to guess, it's probably Rama's own keycaps, the grid keycaps. I could be wrong though. Whoa! Eri, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Holy moly, so many gifted subs today. All right, do we go stepped caps lock or regular caps lock chat? I am going to be the next chortle my squirtle? Oh, I don't know about that. Stepped, stepped, a lot of stepped. Do a vote thing, all right. Vote yes for stepped, no for regular. Yes for stepped, no for regular. Yes, stepped, no regular. Oh, looks like it's leaning towards the yes. Ooh, looks like we are going stepped caps lock. Yeah, my chat really likes stepped caps lock. I feel like every time we've taken the vote, we go stepped.
워더 패시네이팅 보드 언드 레이아웃트 비더즈 올소 프리티 나이스 투 쉐 비잉 피처드 앤 비즈너스의 인사이더 터데이 에즈웰 유아 메이킹 더 커뮤니티 북 메이선 타이어 파그 Wow, real Ezzy. Thank you so much for the tip. Thank you, thank you. We'll see how much the community booms from this. If Tyler One requested a keyboard by you, would you build one for him? Of course. It's Tyler One, come on. Yeah, we'll see how many of the people from all this exposure actually convert to enthusiasts purchasing products in the community. I'm curious what key cults sale entries are gonna be like for their next keyboard. Can you imagine if key cult sells out in under a second? Because all these kids from Fortnite are botting. Victory auction, 10,000. Ah, yes. When people pay more for the victory auction than just commissioning key cult. Would mainstream be a good thing for the custom community? I don't see why not. Um, there's definitely pros and cons to something going mainstream. But just because something goes mainstream doesn't mean it's necessarily all bad. Kids don't have enough money to buy key cult boards. You'd be surprised. Cavo. Ooh, okay, so what bottom row do we go? We have to choose a layout for this bottom row. Let me bring up the Discord. There was a chart with the pinned layouts, okay. Hmm. This is a decision we have to make. Which bottom row, chat? Should we go with the one 1.5s? Hmm. Go with the one to fives? Actually, yeah, I feel like the one you would look out of place. If I'm going one to fives, I'm going to guess I placed these on the inner cutouts. Yes, that is correct. Because for the one you I'll place it on the right side cut out. Okay, just to confirm. Let me bring out my one two fives. One two five one two five equals oh there's a mid option. What? Oh, no message. Oh there is a mid option. Mid mid. That does not look like mid. Nice. All right. We are good to go. It is now solid time. I 
Have you been getting any artisans lately? You're slowing down from it. <laughs> Tyson, you're a troll. <laughs> Thank you for gifting stream elements a sub. <laughs> um, I've still been entering the Togepi sales, Corbin Dallas. I haven't been getting lucky with the wins as of late, though. But yeah, I, I've pretty much only been entering um, Togepi sales. I have been slowing down, definitely. Well, I've been, I've been slowing down in general for keyboard purchases. I, uh, I have spent too much money on camera gear the past couple months, and my stream is blown out. Where does one get that fan? This is custom made. This is just a PC fan hooked up to a Pro Micro. Have some filters. It's just sucking air through it. You cannot purchase this anywhere. It will be super satisfying to have a super zoom in shot of soldering. So that would require me to buy another lens. I don't know if I want to purchase more lenses for my Sony cameras. Or just another camera. I could get another camera. I mean, sorry, not could. I, I would want another camera. Alright, let me get some solder points, anchor points down first. What would be your desert what would your desert island keyboard be? The real force 87U. Pro photography here, invest in the glass, not bodies. Yeah, I mean, I, I do know that. Well, I, I honestly, I'm kind of sick of Sony color science. If anything, I would convert to full Canon. Is this not working? Hello, is my iron dead? Oh, what the, it's climbing back up. Now it's back. Can you call this keyboard a TKL? It is a TKL, yes. I would call it a TKL. I am HO, that is kind of moot if you are shooting raw or log. Ah, uh, what is moot? No, I, d I don't think so. Even if I, I do shoot in Sony raw, Um, and I, I've, I've like tuned the, the picture profile and whatnot to, to as best as I can because I don't like the, the Sony color, but yes, you can grade it, but I think it's a, it's, it's more work on my end that I have to do. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm not pro enough, but. I have had a much easier time grading Canon footage. Like just working with the Canon log has been so much nicer than working with Sony log in terms of grading it 
Okay. What enticed me at first was the eye tracking on Sony. I mean, Sony tracking is really nice and the eye tracking works fairly well. But I realized I don't need it all that much anymore. <clears throat> I'm mostly shooting, at least when I start YouTube, I won't be moving around too much, so. Desolder that. Dual Canon dual pixel AF is great too. Yeah, I mean my Canon C two hundred, it can face track. About as good as my Sony, maybe even better. Than oh my gosh. Keycaps, keycaps, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. All right. It is time for the sponsor time. No, I didn't throw it. He jumped off my table and knocked over one of my speakers. <laughs> we have a couple sponsors of Taya Types. The first one being Dixie Mech. Head on over to dixiemechcom slash types. GMK Burgundy, tomorrow is the last day to join. GMK Modern Dolce Light will be running next month. And Mech Madness 2020 bracketing opens on February 3rd. Head on over to mechmadness2020.com. Vote for your favorite keycap sets, desk mats, and keyboards. There will be prizes for those in the community who have the best predictions. Next we have Drop. Head on over to drop.com. You got tons of keyboard enthusiast products. Highly recommend you check them out. Also consider using my affiliate link um, I have affiliate links and uh, links to all of my sponsors underneath my stream under the sponsors panel. It doesn't cost you any extra when you use my affiliate links, but in some cases it might save you a bit of money and give me a little kickback. The next sponsor we have is KBD Fans. Head on over to kbdfans.com. It's the place I recommend most beginners to start. They've got tons of budget-friendly options there that are great bang for buck. Check out KVD fans. Oh my gosh, this is so dangerous. It's like on my lap while I'm soldering. The next sponsor we have is Keycult. Head on over to keycult.io. I wonder if people hate me. Because Keycult sales are about to get a lot harder to win. <laughs> but Keycult was also featured on all the articles I've been getting published about. They help with the Tifu build. And they sell nice high-end Custom keyboard kits. I don't hate you. <laughs> I mean, I know you don't, but the people in your Discord might. Luffy, get down. We hate you. Uh, but yeah, they... 
make fantastic keyboard kits, go check them out. Uh, sign up for their newsletters, follow them on Instagram, Twitter, join their Discord if you have any questions. The next sponsor we have is Kono. Head on over to kono.store. They've got tons of keycap sets for pre-order currently, if you guys want to join in. They also sell um, entry to mid-tier enthusiast keyboard products on their website as well, so go check them out. Next we have Novel Keys. Head on over to novelkeys.xyz. I do have a discount code with Novel Keys using Teha Keys at checkout. Saves you 5% off in stock items. Uh, GMK Darling currently live. Cam Wraith and Cat Lich also currently live as well. You can also purchase Novel Keys creams like the switches we are using today. Teha type stickers, desk mats, keyboard merch. Check them out. Next we have Prime Keyboards. Head on over to primekb.com. Um, I've been a fan of these Alpaca Linears currently. Haven't built it up yet, but based off just playing with them as loose switches, I've been pretty impressed. Highly recommend you guys check out the Alpacas as well. You can also purchase DSA keycap sets, uh, PCB diodes and components if your PCB is missing some, Duroc stabilizers, DSA keycap sets, check out primekb.com. Next we have switchmod.net slash types. That's where I get all of my lubes from. Using my affiliate link saves you 4% off your purchase. <clears throat> if you use code TT at checkout for GMK Metaverse Round 2, it will save you $5. GMK Metaverse Round 2 is crushing. You guys won't want to miss it, especially if you are a Persona 5 fan. And last but not least, we have zopc.net slash types. You can get some smooth linear switches, extremely tactile switches, some silent switches, some fancy stabilizers if you want. Check out zopc.net slash Teha types. Someone say metaverse? Oh yeah, dead encryption is in chat. The person, the man behind metaverse. Hi, first time watching your stream. What 60% PCB would you recommend that as underglow? Well, it depends on your case, really. But DZ60, I believe, has underglow. How, where can I get myself a keyboard? You should check out all of the, the sponsors I just mentioned on stream. I get most of my parts from my sponsors. People need to stop making so many nicest. I have too many ordered and keep seeing more I want. Does he reach hat? Yes. DZ60 isn't perky. Uh, I believe one of them has underglow. There's one that has perky RGB and there's one with underglow, I believe. farted for a second. Pen fast fingers is down? Oh no. What am I going to do?
solderable DZ60 has on the grid. Yeah, that's what I thought. You might get this a lot, but what are you soldering? I'm switch soldering the switch pins onto the PCB. Your, uh, your switch has to make contact with your PCB somehow, right? For it to actually work. So soldering is what creates that contact. Do you use a different lube or switch springs than what you use for switches themselves? No, I usually use whatever I use for the switch on the spring as well. Do you have one of those vacuum things so you're not breathing in solder all day? Yes. What switches are you using? Novel key cream switches. Haley, thank you so much for the eight months. Hello. All right, now to go on to the right side. Why do you hate short distance keys? Because it feels bad to me. Um, yeah, I just don't like the feel. Yo, Kioni, thank you so much for the tip. You're the cutie. Thank you so much. Hope you hope you're having a good day too. I am. But why is it recommended to use different types of lubes for linears and tactiles? Um, that's just a general rule. There's no real rule for lubing, <laughs> but it's recommended because with tactile switches, um, if you use a thick lube as is the common choice for most people, I feel like, for linears on tactiles, there's a chance you can ruin the tactility of the switch. So people just say it for ease, so they don't have to deal with the following questions. I think people take keyboard building, I think people stress out too much over it. Just try things out. If you don't like it, you do it. Exception YT, thank you so much for the touch. Prime sub Kitty Squirt, thank you so much for the two months. Alright, 
There is one switch I need to redo because I, the pin was bent. Okay. Let's see how straight these keys are. Personally, I think Bursby is the best loop for linears. Okay. Step caps is straight, left shift is straight. <laughs> Need the left shift.
nice. Damn you, you have to spend more money. Why that encryption? Okay, backspace looks straight. Pipe key is fixed. Oh, enter looks straight. Right shift, slightly off. This is a customer board, Pertz. I want a Virgo now. I too want a Virgo. <laughs> All right. That looks straight. It's two, two, five, two, seven, five goes here. Yes, I did. Whoa, what the? Alexo Capo, thank you so much for the five gift of subs. What the? I didn't know you were watching. <laughs> Good luck, Char, for tomorrow. Thank you so much. Looking forward to building your keyboard tomorrow. We're building an interesting keyboard today. It's called the Virgo. So it's a TKL, but it's got this ergonomic kind of split and angling to it. Is the plate FR4? Yes. Okay, everything looks straight. Uh, when you check, make sure that we soldered everything. And we can assemble the keyboard. Let's see, let's plug this JST connector in. And the sleeving kind of. That's not alt. What? All right. Moment of. Oh, F2. Did I forget F2? Did I really forget a switch? forget to solder Solder that, place this back on, plug this in. Nice. All right, everything works. Pogi can now assemble <clears throat> this keyboard. Okay, so if I recall correctly, this just goes on top like this. Right? Why won't this close on the front? Hmm. 
Hmm. I won't close. Is there a part that's lifted somewhere? Maybe I just have to press down really hard for it to compress. Ah, there we go. Okay. And then the long screws go in the back. Yeah, the gaskets should compress. Hello, I'm Nihir. Hello, Gogo -Go Broski. You looked at the GMK Ashes group buy? Yes. Oh crap, I need to purchase GMK Ashes. <laughs> and are we really at 1k? Nandi, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. A301S, thank you so much for the 100 bits. GMK Ashes group by Pog. Who made that set? Yeah, I wonder who made that set. Might be someone you don't like, Zombomon. You were kind of being mean with the gifted subs today. Oh, okay, so is this the one that was not coming off like last time? I think the threading might be, I forget which screw, but I think the threading was gone on one of these. Might be this one. Yeah, this one's just rotating in place. It's not really, it's not gripping onto anything, even if I compress it. Yeah. I'm just kidding, everything else is fine. Flexor mat, yeah, but I, I also had trouble removing this because it wasn't gripping anything. It, yeah, the threading is like gone. <laughs> but it's a prototype. Hopefully the uh, actual production unit won't have this issue. What set do we even use on this green? Is this a keyboard where we actually use hyperfuse? It's a feature? Does chat have any ideas what to use? Um, I'm gonna go wash my hands because I touched solder. Maybe you guys can take a vote.
got Metrop- I don't own Metropolis. I skipped out on Metropolis. There's no pull? Nandi, thank you so much for the tip. Thank you to my boy Keone. I'm completely sunk into the hobby with parts for two below on the right. Nice. Also, what webcams do you use for the stream? Uh, I don't use webcams. I use... Let's see, Sony A7R3. This is a Sony A6500. Not Taro. Something with a space kit. What do I even own space kits for? <laughs> have you checked the Diviner keyboard? I have not. <clears throat> hmm. Let me take these off first. You have any GMK green kits? The only green set I own is. I'm pretty sure camping is the only green set I own. Oh, I have GMK terminal. I don't know if terminal has. I don't think I have a space kit for terminal though. Blue? I also don't have a... Oh, I have Mizu. You guys want to try Mizu on this? Binger! Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sir. I don't have Nautilus Nightmares. Nautilus Nightmares just finished running like last, this month or last month. No one has Nautilus Nightmares. <clears throat> Any recommendations? Could do, let me see if I have all the kits for Mizu. even work with this you guys like this blue oh well, maybe no <laughs> Mizu is a terrible head oh okay okay I have the space bars kit though. Minimal, I'm seeing a lot of minimal or camping. Ooh, what about Hamon? Red and green? No? Oh, I don't I don't have space bars for this. I don't have space bars for many kits. We might just be forced into me. White on black? I don't have space bars. Oh, white on black. Is this it? Nine zero zero nine? Oh, nine zero zero nine. Black. I don't think people are liking as much. 
Uncle Max, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Sloth IRL, thank you so much for the tier one sub. And Richard, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Camping? I do have space bars for camping. <clears throat> Wait, I can't use minimal because it's on my Koyu. No, please. <laughs> this, this is too much. I don't have Imsto Irish. Um, I'm just not. Vote yes, yes or no, 9009. Do I even have space bars? I don't have space bar kit for this. Whoa, plume keyboards. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Like people want 9009 on this. Guess this is what we're going with. All right, what what accent colors do we use? If at all. Do we use green escape? Vote yes or no for green escape. <laughs> Shadow Bone, thank you so much for the tier one stuff. Green escape here. Ooh, chat mode and no. Okay. What about red escape? Do we go red escape? Red escape. D, thank you so much for the five months. Y2K to you, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. No red escape, okay. So if you guys want no red or no green, I guess we're just going beige by process of elimination. We need a stepped cap. What about enter? Do we go red enter? Oh, do we go beige enter? Yes or no for beige enter? Yes or no for beige enter? Looks like we're going beige enter.
Jackstastic, do you see a tab key in my kit? Do you see a tab in my kit? I don't have a tab. That's why it's here. <laughs> my GMK9009 set somehow shipped out with two delete keys, two 1.5 delete keys, but no tab. <laughs> it, it hurts my soul too. <laughs> I didn't do this on accident. I actually don't have a tab key in this kit. <laughs> I have looked many times for a tab. But there's no tab. Um, okay, one. Where's the one? Control. Where's the other control? And J. Ah, crap, I flipped it. Just rebind tab to backspace. What key to put here? I guess I'll put this. Oh, that's wrong profile. Oh, is that right profile? Yeah. There is no, there's no double O in this kit. There's no double O. Should we use camping space bars? Do you think do you think the brown accents here would be okay? Oh my gosh, Flexor Man, thank you so much for another five gift of subs. Trust me, SCT, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Or we could go. We could do this. Kind of bootleg, but gives off color. What about that? Do we actually use proper space bars? <laughs> All right, looks like chat doesn't like this. This, the big brain play. 
camping space bars. Get out of here, Kiko. Oh, I never even finished my coffee. It's cold now. Is this it? Throw some camping accents on there. Um, where though? <laughs> I really want these. Oh! Should we replace the arrow keys? Or green flame? Wait, what? I might as well just put on GMK camping then. What's the point of me using... I mean, the, the alpha and mod colors are off, but it's like kind of close. I might as well just have put GMK camping on. <laughs> I hate you guys. You guys are all trolls. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at this. Never doubt your first choice. Ah. All right, let me turn off my cats because they're kind of sleeping. Da, da, da. This is the finished build of today. We have got the Flex Virgo prototype with novel keys, cream switches, Side profile. Oh, it's focusing on my hand. It's the back profile. I didn't notice the the USB port. It's not exact, but it's good enough. Yeah. It's almost there. It's like ninety. It's like ninety-five percent aligned. But I did. I didn't have trouble. Uh, hopefully I don't have trouble plugging it in. Other profile. This is the front. Ooh, you can see that yellow peeking through. My table is shifted, what? Okay. For the YouTube's screenshot. I should hold it like this. A curvy boy. heavy <laughs> okay bring back the overlays before we do the typing test let us weigh this yes I know the space bars are off I don't purchase many uh, space bar kits okay so fully built it's been teared Fully built. This keyboard weighs. Three thousand five hundred three grams. Seven pounds, eleven point six ounces. So almost eight pounds. Nice. It's 
chunk. Okay. How many desk mats are there? One, two, three, four, five. Can we get the worst per minute bot started? Place your bets, everyone. Boy, my desk mat looks so crooked. What? Why does this look so crooked? Okay. Oh, hey, the cable kind of matches today. All right, so this was built with Novel Keys Cream Switches, lubed with Crytox 205 Grade Zero. And this is using the uh, 60 gram springs on an FR4 plate, by the way. Here we go. I gotta take off the weights. It's gonna keep me down from typing fast. Oh crap, was I not supposed to redo? What's happened? Ah. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. I cannot, no, no, it's 502 gateway. Oh. <laughs> I will do this board justice. I love this layout. <sighs> Only a couple seconds were left. Yeah, if you don't finish the typing test though, your score doesn't count, so. House rules. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with the... type well today. Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm, is the website down? 10 fast fingers, hello? Don't do this to me. <laughs> 404? Wait. What do you mean 404 not found? 
1K 비치 폴라 1K 비워즈. 어, 오케이. Alright, no redo, no redo. Last one. Thirty-four. All right. At least it's not one twenties. Holy crap! So many people guessed one thirty-four. <sighs> Pupio, thank you so much for the seven months. Menzeners, welcome back. Thank you so much for the seven months. Yo, Tyson, thank you so much for the one thousand bits. One K bits for one K viewers. Oh shoot, we are above one K. Damn. Are you really popping off? All right. This is what these are. What the mods sound like. 여아 이리얼리 인조이드 와 직녀 비디오즈 오버 언드 오버 신스 아이 스타티드 게팅 링투 더 키보드 하비 센트스 부어 더 그레이트 컨텐트 언드 키프 고인 PS 스틸 웨이팅 포어 여름 투어 비디오 케이보 thank you so much for four months I will have a room tour eventually <laughs> alright these are the mods time to buy your auto ticket Still need copper Alice words for a minute? Oh shoot, you're right. Yeah, these creams definitely need a bit of wearing in, but it's not, I've, I've felt worst stock creams. These are definitely not that bad. It might sound bad though, but yeah, but feel wise it's pretty nice. Boar's got a lot of, it's got a lot of clack, but it's also got some bass to it. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like for a gasket style kind of board, the clack on this, I could be wrong. It sounds higher than a key cult clack though. <clears throat> but I also hear like kind of the bass you would get from like the thermal or like the leaf spring style ones. There's like a physical bass you can hear when you type. It's got like extreme highs and extreme lows, I feel like. How does the FR4 feel? So I actually really like the typing feel of this. FR4, I would say is softer than the aluminum. It's, it's actually got a really nice typing feel. It's not, it doesn't feel super bouncy, but it's got, it's got a nice, somewhat dampened typing feel. Okay, one more typing test. 
Oh crap, that was not right. Can I break 140? Polyzy, thanks so much for the 500 bits. Oh my gosh. Well, the website's dead. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, 126 at it worse. All right, feels bad. Yeah. All right, so thank you, Flexerman, for sending out this prototype. Um, so, just my thoughts based on this prototype. Uh, let me turn off. I will say the Anno. If I'm being honest, it's not the best Anno I've seen. It's, it's not like terrible Anno, but I would say uh, definitely not the best Anno I've seen. Um, I would say like the Anno on Key Cult and TGR definitely looks nicer aesthetically to me personally. Um, I'm not sure if it's an Anno issue or if it's just the quality of the aluminum use. I could be wrong. Yeah, but like it's, it's at least got a consistent look everywhere, so. It won't stand out. Um, obviously, this is a prototype that uh, the, the designer has been using themselves, so it did come with scratches here and there, but I don't think you guys need to worry about that for the group buy. Uh, the USB port, just ever so slightly off, not perfect, but not a huge deal breaker for me. Uh, we also mentioned the font funkiness. There, I don't know what happened with the font. It was that, <laughs> but I like, I like the typing feel of this. Yeah, with this FR4 plate, it's got a very nice, comfortable typing experience. If you like the uh, higher clack pitch noise of gasket style boards, this will be right up your alley. Yeah, I feel like overall it's got a nice sound signature. Even the bottom row sounds pretty nice. Hate how the right shift intrudes on the space between the arrow. How does the how did the LZ Ergo do it? So this was inspired by the LZ Ergo. Does the LZ Ergo also have this layout? This is the board that inspired this, the LZ Ergo. So the LZ Ergo also has the intrusion. Yeah, layout wise, it looks, oh, it's slightly different, okay. So the LZ Ergo had F1. Oh, you guys, you guys can't see my mouse. It has F1 through F5 all connected together and then F6 through F12 on the Flex Virgo it has F1 through 4. Oh my gosh. Like it has 1 through 4 as one cluster. Lonely F5. And then 3 and 4. That's interesting. Okay. Do I like the look of this better? Huh? Hmm. I'm not so sure. I don't know which I like better actually. That F5 chilling on its own is bothering me a lot. 
But yeah, um, the LZ Ergo had indicator lights up here. So that would have been kind of cool to see to like fill the gap here. There is a gap in this segment, so would have been nice. Indicator lights would have been cool, but maybe maybe it was taken off for a specific purpose. But yeah, I mean, the LZ Ergo also had this cutout there. I don't even know if it's possible to remove this. This is just something you have to accept. Nav cluster is bothering me the most. What, do you, what about the nav cluster? Well, the LZ Ergo also had it. The nav cluster and arrow, it has this cutout here. Hence, they are bad. Whoa, LZ Ergo looks dank. I, I personally am a huge fan of this layout and look in terms of aesthetics and functionality. Wise words from Sora. Uh, I am Adobe. Thank you so much for the bits. I love your streams. I watch them while I work. Help pass the day pass. Thank you. Uh, Deuce Zyanis. Thank you so much for the two months. So I have to have my KBD 67 Mark II when they start delivering. Nice. There you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to this. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I did say this before. I, I do think the LZ Ergo looks nicer. But, I mean, you can't just directly clone it. You shouldn't directly just clone a keyboard. This has, this now has Flexor Man's little flair to it. Um, the LZ Ergo also had a, it had a horizontal tab here, whereas this just kind of converges to a slight curve. So yeah. Are you going to join this group by? I, I don't plan on buying many things this year. I'll probably try to get in on this though. I just love the layout. That's why I, li I like the look of this like slanted keyboard. I like the layout, so I'll probably try to join in on it. Yeah. And if you guys are going to join in on this, it will be open February 15th. Is this a personal build? No, this is a client build. I will be sending this back to the uh, person who designed this. He is in chat flexor, man. Oh, you can see the mic. All right. Goodbye, Nathan. Oh wait, it's already 2 p.m. Maybe I shouldn't game, huh? I have some stuff to do today. Should I game tomorrow? Yeah, let's, I'm gonna skip gaming today. One game. It's already two, I haven't eaten dinner. I mean, lunch, I gotta feed the cats. I gotta go ship some stuff out. I have to be on call for something later. Maybe we'll call it a short stream today. Let my EU mods sleep as well because there's a big stream tomorrow for them. Yeah. I won't be there tomorrow? Rip. <laughs> I am Adobe, thank you so much for another bits. One game, please. Do we play a game? Is Maz still here? Do you guys really want to game? Oh, I can't play? All right, Maz can't play. I was, if I gamed, I was gonna play CS with Maz and Soran, but Maz can't play. All right, who is live? Ooh. How many software engineers in chat right now? Do you guys have any soft, are there, do we have any software engineers in chat? Yes or no? Yes, tomorrow, Alexo Capo. We are building a keyboard for Mr. Alexo Capo. Stream will be at the same time, 10 a.m. PST. All right, there's someone I want to raid. He's one of the few uh, software people. There's like influencers in the software world. Did you guys know that? He is one of the people I started following. We're gonna go give him a raid. His name is Chris on Code. You guys know the drill. You guys know the spam message. 
It's our first time ever raiding this person, I think. I just finished watching Silicon Valley, does that count? <laughs> yes, just like you are an influencer in the degen zone. Okay, all right. But yeah, um, tomorrow we will we'll be building a keyboard for one of the biggest EU streamers, the man, one of the few men who can claim they have killed Faker live too, I believe. He's a very nice guy. One of probably one of the best clients I've worked with so far. So excited to finally close out this project for him. Alexo Capo. If you guys don't know, follow him on Twitch. He does stream in his native language. So I don't understand most of his stream, but he, he mostly games. All right, thank you for tuning in everyone today. Hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Until then, see you nerds. Boom.